Hi there. Welcome to Conversations. Um, I'm so happy to be back. I have been gone for a month and I didn't even realize it as far as creating these videos. So I apologize for not um, being here. I have a lot that I want to discuss, so I will not take up too much of your time. I just will try and steamroll through it here. Um, why have I not been here? Okay, so I found out I had to have an MRI back um, on the 14th of October. And um, prior to that, I had gone to a chiropractor. I kept feeling like I needed a new pillow. And then I had been dealing with headaches and it was going back and forth, back and forth. Long story short, I have really bad arthritis in my neck and I guess it's hereditary and um, it's not curable. Arthritis isn't, but after going to my first round of PT last week, I found out that they, you just have to build up the muscles and everything around that area so that um, basically so that it doesn't hurt and it supports it. So um, I had my first round of physical therapy. It went great. I loved the lady. She did such a good job and she taught me some exercises to do at home. But honestly, I feel like when I found out that I had to have an MRI, it was kind of scary. You know, they, the doctor said it was more precautionary, which was great, but you know, things can go through your head. And he said he wanted to make sure it wasn't anything to do with my spine or anything more serious or involved. So that, you know, gets you in your head a little bit. And I went through my whole month of October and I deleted um, or canceled all of my podcasts that I was set out to record because I didn't know how the MRI was going to turn out. And I just kind of went into a funk. And honestly, I've been in it for a few weeks now. And I feel like I'm finally starting to come out of it, starting to feel a little bit more like me now that there's an uh, some hope and I know what it is that we're dealing with and that it's not as serious as what I had gotten into my head about. So that was all great. But anyway, so that's part of the reason why I haven't been around recording these black and white uh, podcast episodes. So I owe you um, a book review and I owe it to Anthony too. I had done a book review for him at the beginning of his episode, but I don't know if you watch that episode. So I want to make sure I give him a shout out for his book. Um, his book is called uh, The Empty Nest Blueprint, and it is all about being an empty nester. It is fantastic. It was such a good read. It was easy to go through. The only part that I struggled with probably was when he really got into the statistics. I'm not a numbers person, so um, that kind of my eyes glaze over. Maybe I should just tell myself that I'm a numbers person and, and I'll love things like that. But otherwise, great book. Um, highly recommend if you have somebody in your life who's got, you know, uh, somebody that's going to be graduating this coming year or, you know, maybe going off to the military or maybe just even moving out of their your parents' house and um, they may be struggling, whether they're an only child, you know, if it's a single parent. So he made another book, The Empty Nest, Nest or Blueprint for Single Parents. And that is great, too. I was a single parent. And um, so I think that that's great that he catered to single moms, dads out there as well for his second book. Highly recommend. And Anthony is just a great guy. So um, shout out to Anthony. Um, hopefully he can sell lots of books this um, Christmas time because I think people really, really should read it. Also, I was have been reading this book that I got at a spiritual store that is by Richard Webster, and it is called Communicating with the Archangel Uriel. Um, I, I'm covering that because I bought some crystals too. So my daughter and I have been making this routine now of going and getting our nails done every other Friday. And then afterwards, we will go to this spiritual store that's down the street from the nail place. And we, it's like, I told her, it's like tattoos for us, you know, for people that like to get tattoos and they say it's addictive. Yeah. We're like addictive. I addicted. I've got all kinds of crystals that I've gotten all kinds of jewelry that I've gotten. Um, and 
I believe in it or not. I just think it's a fun environment to be in just to go in there. And that's where I got the book. They've got, um, incense, they've got jewelry, they've got just loose rocks, crystals. And, um, so that's kind of my latest addiction, but it seems to have helped my mindset a little bit, which is always a good thing. So, um, I'm, I wrote down what I wanted to talk about so that I don't get too derailed, uh, depressed <laughs> books, nails, crystals. Okay. So I am releasing this, um, Monday, uh, ooh, Monday, the 25th of October and Halloween is coming. It's my very favorite holiday. We already celebrated with my family for spooktacular where we all dress up. So I feel like Halloween's already done, but my husband and I went out yesterday and bought a new inflatable, my hair. Um, I love to have inflatables in the yard. We really don't get that many trick-or-treaters, which makes me really sad. But, you know, I still like to dress up and hand out candy if anybody shows up. And last year, I um, didn't know it was going to be the last year that I dressed my dog up. We had her put down um, in March or, yeah, I, I can't remember. I wrote it in my journal. It was devastating. I had a hard time recovering from that. But anyway, so we won't have her to help me pass out candy this year. Anyway, we got the house decorated and it looks really good. Um, this coming weekend will be the celebration of my oldest granddaughter's first birthday. So that is really exciting. Her birthday actually lands on November 5th, election day. And I hate that for her because I feel like there's this cloud over that day, um, in the States and you know, we've got everybody that's going to be voting and I'm just so anxious for all of it to be over. I'm sick of the ads. I get text messages and it's not even somebody I know. And they're just telling me who I should go vote for and going to town halls and stuff. And I know that it's important to have the right people in place, but it's just overkill. I don't understand the mentality of um, making fun of or criticizing the opponent. You know, that's all the commercials are, just people bashing the other person. It's like, just tell me what you're going to do to help grocery prices, to help the homeless situation, to help, you know, whatever. Just tell me how you're going to help. Don't tell me that that person is a hor horrible human being that does nothing for me. So I'm anxious for the election to be done. I'm sure there's a lot of people like me out there that are. Um, so yeah, for her, I hate that for her. She doesn't know she's only turning one, but I just hate that for her that that's such a, a looming cloud over her special day. You know, I, I thought about it the other day too, how um, September 11th was one of the worst days since I've been alive that I can remember. Um, and to me, that's so much worse than, you know, what we're dealing with these electing officials, you know, it's not forever. They're not in place forever. And we need to come together as a country and try and put the right people in place. But, you know, it's not about the one day or the one person. It, it's just, to me, there's bigger things to um, concern ourselves with, but that's my take on that. That's my spiel. I'm just anxious for it to all be over with. Um, okay. So coming up, um, I have about two or three episodes left to air because I canceled a lot of those previous interviews, which I felt terrible about doing. I just wasn't in a mental space to do it. And I honestly didn't know how much physical therapy or doctor's visits I was going to have. And yeah, I, I just was, didn't think it was fair to the people that I was going to try and talk to for me to um, attempt. I felt like it would be fake because I was just not in a good mental space. Um, so 
I'm going to air a couple more episodes and then we'll be doing the Thanksgiving episode, hopefully with my mom and Christmas episode, hopefully with my mom and maybe my sister, any of my other family that want to partake. They usually don't want to partake, but if they do, that would be great. Um, if you have any ideas for any future episodes for um, my next season, so season year number four. Um, I go by the year. I know some people will number their seasons and their episodes and all that stuff. I lost track. I got too carried away and was doing like 10 episodes every week. <laughs> I just, I lost track again, not a numbers person. So um, if you have any ideas for any of the future episodes that I'll be doing, and I have some surprises coming up that I'm super excited about, and I don't want to spill the beans yet. So we'll just wait a few more weeks, and then there'll be some big announcements coming. Um, but they're all good, and I'm really looking forward to them. Um, when I mentioned earlier about this book, I have really been going down a rabbit hole about angels and spirit guides and um, if you listen or watch any of my other episodes, you will you know that I love astrology. I love the metaphysical kind of topics. I just find it really interesting. But talking about angels has really been interesting for me that they are always there, always around us. We just have to call on them when we need a guidance and help. And um, so... I am pro I've already done an episode about how to connect or communicate with your angels, but I might do some future episodes about specific angels or um, your guardian angels, things like that. My husband actually literally just came in and was talking to me about third man syndrome, and I had never heard that term, but to me, it is basically the same thing as your guardian angels watching over you and telling you don't go that way or make sure you um make sure you do this or did make sure you turn that off did you did you turn it off before you left you know things like that um to warn you so um always listen to those gut instincts this is not a hair t tutorial obviously um yeah, listen to your gut about things like that. But that's what's been going on with me. I have been up to my eyeballs in crystals and guardian angels, healing, trying to get myself into a better place mentally. And I feel like I'm finally starting to come out of it. I'm super excited about Halloween and super excited for the election to be done and just do the downhill slide towards Thanksgiving and Christmas and spending so much time with my family. My grandkids are going to be just super fun ages for the holidays. And um, that's my focus. That's where I really want to focus is just spending time with family. Um, but anyway, so I want you to, if you'd like to, um, leave any comments of ideas of future episodes, if you have anything that you'd like me to find a guest on or do a solo episode about, I would love your feedback and, um, hopefully we can, um, yeah, do some of those episodes for you. So that's all I have. I hope you have a great week and happy Halloween get the election done and over, say some prayers for a good positive outcome, and I'll see you later. Bye.